Here we go, recording. <clears throat> Good morning right now. It's 10-10 on a Friday. I'm excited. We're going to be talking about the League City Parade. It's taking place tomorrow. On Saturday, I have TJ Alts from I-45 Now. i got Angie Mertens from Angie Mertens Fame in studio <laughs> discussing I like, everything. I like What's that. going on? I'm just from I-45 Now. She's from Angie Mertens Fame. From, from <laughs> I- <laughs> the, the jazz hands go up and everything for from, you, From I-45 Now I wouldn't call it fame. It's just reliability. You there know, you from my 45 now, uh, trusted news source, right. very, very, uh, for our, our, our side of yeah, the world, this really helps perfect. my reputation for trust. <laughs> hey, it's nice to know that you have a fun side. I do, right? You know? Yeah. It's cool. So, so. The, the Texans, Had are you a big Texans fan? Actually, as a matter of fact, this conversation came up last night when we were watching the Monday night, uh, Thursday night football game. I'm more of a Dallas Cowboys hater than I am a, <laughs> a Houston Texans fan. But yeah, no, this was the only Christmas Eve thing I had that wouldn't cover my face. I did go to city council with Angie uh, in League City where we're promoting all of the, the holiday in the park grand night parade, which is happening tomorrow night. And uh, and I had the whole, I had the hat with the full beard going and sunglasses and the sunglasses and everything else kind of be a mysterious uh, is uh, mysterious clause, I guess, more than anything else. But did you notice he has Santa's? I have on my. I do. Yeah, that's awesome. It's my Santa surf. I figured, you know, we're on the coast, and uh, so I thought today have a little fun. That's not what I'll be wearing for the parade. I'm actually going to dress up for that. But <laughs> I, have, I have my Santa surfing uh, Hawaiian shirt on. Uh, He's today. also riding a dolphin. Riding a dolphin. Which doing the that. hula. I'm doing the hula right on my belly. <laughs> I really would like to see that, TJ. There's Can you do the hula? I, well, yeah. <laughs> <He's>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts. I can do it. I'm just not sure if it's well. Anyway, but it's good radio. It's, it's going to be fun. Uh, Holiday in the Park kicking off tonight, actually. Cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. The vendors are already setting up over at League Park. Uh, and this is so, 22 years now, it's been going on. And uh, the Grand Night Parade's tomorrow night, but tonight we have Frosty. Uh, showing in the movie uh, and in the park tonight, and the vendors, a uh, record number of vendors too. Angie, that's yeah, going to be over something else. Vendors. Um, I, th- I think that too. It's um, at six thirty. Um, Mrs. Claus is going to read to the kids the twas twas the night before Christmas, and then we're going to start the movie in the park. Yeah. I always love to say the old fashioned movie in the park because they show the movie and people sit around on the ground and in their lawn chairs and have their hot chocolate. So you bring popcorn. a chair? You can bring a chair. Yeah, there bring are some chair. set yeah. up, but they they overflow what's there. So they bring blankets and chairs. It's very cool. It's really it's this is the one uh, there are, you know every one of our towns. You know last night we were in Texas City um uh and a few nights ago in Lamarck for the Christmas parade and everyone there's a lot of activity that takes place this time of year every t- town has something that's kind of special to them but league city i can say this is americana of uh, it, it's about community they come together in a small park bring out their blankets and their chairs uh and they get to watch a movie get popcorn they get to visit santa uh while they're out there uh the little modern twist of their food trucks that's yeah. I, that's the only <laughs> thing i think that's it, you know modern. but it is it is so neat uh, to be a part of this whole, and it's a whole weekend of events. It's not just the parade tomorrow night, which is obviously Angie has been the mistress of ceremonies for I, 18 years, 18 years. So don't tell her. For 18 I know years me. you've been involved? 18 years I've been the MC of this parade, yeah. I remember. And it's 22 years old. 22 years I old. I missed a few. Yeah. But she, I lived in California, so she I, was, I have an excuse. She was, she was two years old when she first <laughs> emceed the parade. I love him so much. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I mean, and... Uh, I could barely talk. <laughs> so, but, you know, back then it was only two floats. So she said, <laughs> ooh, ah, and it was over. And yeah. So, but it, it is, and it is the stretch of the parade, which is which is tomorrow night, I, it starts off first, I should tell everyone, you want to come down early. They start closing down Main Street in League City at 5 o'clock. It just, they shut it down from... FM 270 all the way to State Highway 3, it gets shut down at 5 o'clock in League City tomorrow. Now, that stretch of road, that's not a really long stretch of road. But when that parade starts until it ends, we're there for several hours. Yeah. It, they, they they fill up every parking lot around the way to line up everybody. There is uh, the bands and the floats that are going to be in part of it. Obviously, uh, every everyone wants to decorate their vehicles and everything else. And it is so much fun, and it's packed along the street. There is not – you have some parades you'll go to. There's, like, gaps 
where there's not anyone gathered, there's no such thing in this parade. The grand That's why it's called the Grand Night Parade. It is so you, big. You have to say that. The Grand Night Parade. Yeah, the night Grand parade. Night Parade. That's how I'm going to say it tomorrow night, Because it's over too. two hours long. It's pretty grand. Yeah. I mean, so. for that short stretch. I mean, that's not that's maybe a mile and a half, but it is, it is so intense. So many floats. So many marching groups. So mm-hmm. many cars involved. And when it's election season like it is, there'll even be more vehicles involved because <laughs> yeah, every politician that. is going to be having. And I say, too, every, every politician, too, now they go get the biggest high-rise truck that they can get and that, that's what they use you know out there so you're gonna see those two monster jeeps yeah but this and we have you know we have an all-volunteer fire department in league city and so we have lots of um fire trucks that come out and they they let the guys and their families be on them and i always love that because you know we don't get to see them they're not there all the time yeah. and when they're out you don't want you don't want them to be right, yeah. where you can see them. You, yeah. know, you don't want them to be somewhere you know and love. Yeah. Sure. So I love seeing all the, the volunteer fire departments and the the little dancing teams. And Well, I like to. It's last year we, we did the because last year the Grinch was more of the theme. Right. We we're doing that. And then Frosty, it's hats off to Frosty. This is the 50th anniversary of when Frosty was born and said happy birthday. Happy birthday. When he took on his top hat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in fact, I was telling Angie the other night, this was my re- this is my first year. She's been doing this 18 years. This I've gone to this parade since I was a kid, since I was younger. I'm not going to say kid, but for, for since many he years. was a kid yeah, watching right. me yeah, MC yeah, the yeah, parade. Yeah. I, I wasn't a kid. I was he an adult. He took all oh, back that two yeah, years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> sorry about that, Angie. But I've been going to this for years, and I've always bright, and I've been in it as well. And uh, and. Last year the theme was Grinch, so we counted the number of Grinches we saw in the saw in the parade, and how many Santas we saw in the parade, and we we're keeping track of how many more. So this year it's going to be how many Frosties we see and how many Santas we see, because that's a it's a lot of fun. But it is such a great event. It is as I said, it starts actually tonight. We go and watch the movie. And I was telling Angie though, I said, okay, this is my first year. I got to get really geared up. Right. So my research, I was doing my research. So I watched Frosty. Which was great, great classic movie. Then I watched Frosty Returns. Anyone seen Frosty Returns? Wait, that's before? what happens tonight. No, Frosty. Tonight Returns. you're going to watch Frosty and then right. Frosty back Returns. Returns. Back yeah. to back, back right. to back, back to right. back. Now, not to say anything about that, but Frosty Returns. John Goodman is Frosty. John Goodman is from uh, Roseanne. Yeah, or, yeah, or yeah, yeah. the he's Connors. Big, I guess we got to call it that. He's Big Dan, Big Dan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> most of, most of, most people our age know John Goodman as from uh, uh, the Big Lebowski more <laughs> than that. But yeah, it, you know, so John Goodman's the voice of Frosty and Frosty Returns, and so there was this this whole thing. And part of my research was okay. I want to see what Frosty wears because I want to cut. You know, we know about the top hat. We know the corn cob pipe. So I was trying to figure out what he returns. And my wife says, well, he has a red bow tie. And I said, no, no, he has a red scarf. So my wife and I had this argument. Well, in the original Frosty. He has a red and green scarf. He has no scarf. What? It's just the hat and corn cob pipe. So Frosty what? has nothing on except what's on his head Yeah. in the first one. In the second one, he gets the bow tie. Does he get buttons? We were having that discussion the other no, night. No, there's no buttons. People always put so, buttons on Frosty, and I was like, I don't think Frosty has buttons. Button? He doesn't have any buttons. The bu- frozen he one. He has Olaf the coal. Has right. He has coal for his nose. It's in the... And as I said, my wife said, it's in the song. <laughs> yeah, yo. Yeah. The instructions on how to build Frosty is in the song. Corn cop pipe and a button a nose. nose. Yeah. So... Made of coal. Look, this isn't Frosty because he has... He has well, the a carrot, carrot. Yeah, that's kind of how though. people have. It just seems easier. I don't know, but yeah, the carrot yeah, is the traditionally, traditionally, yeah, traditionally yeah. what you put into the snowman. But it, again, this is this event is so much fun. You hear us our, our excitement about it. It brings back. I liken it to being Christmas morning, and your kid waiting for this is so anticipated. Mm-hmm. And but there's so many activities going on during the day as well. Like I said tonight, the movies. Yeah, well, Mrs. Claus first reading "Twas the Night Before Christmas." That's a new thing. And the vendors, you know, you can go out there and buy everything from um, jewelry and makeup to candles and clothes and Uh, Christmas displays. Yeah, Christmas displays. I had this huge "Believe" sign with a Santa hat on it. A very simple. It's something my wife believes, and that's in front of my house. I bought it at 
a holiday in the park last year from one of it's a local vendor a lady lives in webster actually she lives in league city yeah. um uh right before as you go into webster and she sells these things out there every year they're well, at the front of the I park i think there's about three vendors that do the christmas signs so today we've started letting the vendors in and started building up the park for yeah. the, the thing so it, starting this morning they start bringing those signs and they they'll be all across the front on 518 and all the way back in the park that these vendors so selling yeah. the signs decorates the park which i think is so great cuz right. you know just all their signs out there make you know there'll be santas and grinches and ornaments yeah. and, and nativities and you know all kinds of things out there so so just the vendors decorate the park i think that's so cool yeah. Yeah. although have you been by the park have you driven by you know the um the league city garden club decorates the gazebo every year and it's beautiful you know it's that iconic white bandstand out there and they string lights out there and this year the league city lions club donated a christmas tree and they put it in the middle of the gazebo so this is huge christmas tree in the middle of the gazebo now so when the kids go to visit santa That'll be by that big yeah, tree. Yeah, it's great So we visual. think the Lions Club. That was really neat. And, and it's a real tree, by the way, too. It's not an artificial tree. Melaine Sweeney corrected me on that one when they were yeah. putting it up last week, is that it's a real tree. So Melaine was in there. here talking about the Lions Club the other day. Yeah. They didn't bring that up. She didn't we did say talk, they were going to do a tree? We talked about the gazebo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, this is the gazebo that was painted pink. And right. then they joked about it being painted orange for the Astros. <laughs> it, was, it was Photoshop. And then, right. yeah, now it's, uh, she did say they were decorating it. It is back to white. Yes. I should say the gazebo right. is back to white. But, yeah, the Lions Club came out uh, on Sunday and got it all done. Uh, and it and looks great. And the citizens great. decorated it. Yeah, a lot Just of volunteers. people from League City showed up yeah. to decorate the tree. It was pretty and cool. It all started off, Jan- and we have to give proper credit here, League City Proud, who puts on Holiday in the Park. Right, it is not the city of League City. Right, that, I think that's important. This is a volunteer organization that was started a little more than 22 years ago. It's just folks that are proud of their city. Janice Hallisey, her husband, Pat Halsey, who's the mayor now. Tommy Cones and other little handful of folks. Who's the fire marshal and yeah. the assistant fire chief. Yeah, they got together when I said, yeah, we should have something fun for the city. And that was the birth of League City well, Proud. you know what it was? Um, Janice and Pat have a daughter named Ashley, and she was about 10 years old, and um, they said, you know, we need some place to go, something yeah. to do to make it, you know, try and make it a holiday feel for for the season, and League City just didn't really have anything, and they wanted to bring their daughter someplace, so they created mm-hmm. Holiday in the park in this parade. Yeah. So I'll, their daughter could have a parade to go to. I like, they, they, so this is really not for the city. This is just for the house. Just for Ashley. That's it. Yeah. Just for Ashley. Ashley. I like when people step up and do that. Like if you see something, if there's a need, hey, start it. You know, like yeah. or, or there may be somebody else out there doing it. Connect with those like minded people and make it happen. So that's that's really cool. It really started off and it, it was just a, it was a one kind of more of a one day of thing and then mm-hmm. it spread and and you know, so we have tonight. We have the the reading of uh, "Twas the Night Before Christmas." We have the movies tonight. Tomorrow morning, we have the children's parade that's going to be happening. Uh, and as I well. do, I do have to say that one of the grand marshals is going to be my grandson Jude. Cool. So you know, got to hey, plug that. Jude. <laughs> uh, he's never heard that. Uh, he hasn't yeah, heard that never. song. No, he's heard it like a thousand. <laughs> the times. moment he was born. Yeah. <laughs> How old is he? How old's your grandson? He just turned five last week. Awesome. So I mean, be five, five years old. He's already hit the pinnacle. He's That's right. Grand Marshal. He's Grand Marshal of the, <laughs> of, of the Kids Parade. They were interviewing him. In fact, Janice Hallisey was interviewing him the other day. And um, he said, well, I'm going to be in the, an, another parade, too. And she was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, you've been in this parade. This is your fourth year to be in the Kids Parade. And and you'll you'll probably be in it as long as you're a kid. And he goes, no, I'm going to be in another parade. And But I forgot. So his dad... Um, has a plumbing company and they're going to be in the, they're going to be in the parade tonight. There you so go. I mean Saturday night. So he's going to be in another parade that night. So cool. he'll be on the float. Well, if you, you know. get the dog out, then you're all set for Sunday too, because because <laughs> it continues through Sunday. Uh, we have uh, the faithful friends mm-hmm. have their uh, annual uh, pet parade uh, that is just so much. folks decorate up their dogs and their cats. Last year, someone brought a guinea pig out in the cage oh, um, an aquarium somebody brought yeah. their fish brought their fish yeah <laughs> their fish. someone brought their goldfish in a no it wasn't a goldfish no, it, it was, was one a... of those fighting angel whatever yeah yeah, yeah yeah you know what you see you see a convenience you store that's put, what they had you can't yeah put two of them in. they had that they had those what out there with called? them oh my goodness. and one year someone brought a like a, a 
a lizard. Yeah. You know, well, we always <laughs> say that the most the most um, notable year was the lady that brought a whole um, bird cage full of finches yes. that she made little Victorian costumes for. They oh had goodness. like little tuxedos and little mm-hmm. Victorian dresses for the the year we had a Victorian theme. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I want her to come back with her finches. I know. We talk uh, about her all the time. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. Stuff we that we want her to come back. But you know, that happens on Sunday uh, <coughs> at, the, one. Uh, at 1 o'clock. Yeah, 1 o'clock. And so that happens. That's a lot of fun. Uh, the vendors are all still out there throughout the day Sunday as well. And the great thing is, too, is that the uh, Chamber of Commerce and League City Proud made sure we're going to have great weather all weekend. That's it's, so nice the clouds, of them. The clouds are about to clear here in about the next hour or so, and we're going to have sunshine and clear skies. And you have you you know this because I forty five now yeah. has their own meteorology team. That's right, we do. And uh, I was talking to the crew this morning because about this event, I said, "Okay, guys, you want to keep your jobs? Make sure the weather's <laughs> good through the weekend. This is what we need." Yeah. yeah. So I was you talking know, to Todd Nelson, one of our meteorologists, this morning about that. So you know, it was 20- fun. 22 years we have only had to cancel the parade one time and it was like three years ago and it was just a deluge yeah and they could not i mean you could not walk out the the signs of the parade were blowing sideways and the the all of the gutters and everything were filled so it, even if you could have gotten the floats down you couldn't have had any people watch you know yeah, right. the sides of the road it was awful and um but it it has always been beautiful. We have freezing years. We've had snow before. There's a beautiful picture on LeagueCityProud.com. If you have any questions, you can look and look on your computer. It's not very phone friendly right. for the schedule, but um, it has um, a picture of the gazebo with snow on it. Mm-hmm. It really is a beautiful, yeah. beautiful picture. It's, but we've is, had every kind of weather. And it goes back to what I said when this started. This is Americana. A pure Americana. It is a gathering. It's not commercialized uh in many ways yeah they're vendors and they're selling stuff and all but it, it feels like you're coming to like a hometown market and just hanging out having to, you see friends uh the movie night as angie said you bring out your chair you plop down you bring out your blanket people are drinking hot cocoa and eating popcorn even if it's about, like 80 degrees oh yeah it and is. what we said the weather there was one year that we were out there in shorts I mean that it oh, was yeah. it was sipping warm. hot chocolate and last sipping year. Hot chocolate. Last year was That's pretty awesome. hot. Yeah, because I know I had like a, a a jumpsuit on. I always bring like a coat, and I was like yeah. taking it off and just being. Yeah. I was so hot, but and and today, you know, I put my sweatshirt, and my Uggs on because I thought, well, you know, I do look festive and have yeah. my little frosty shirt on. I'm dying of heat stroke right now. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's can you turn so the hair hot. down it's in like here, Guardy. <laughs> it's like 75 <laughs> degrees outside, but it is beautiful, and then you know. That weather, weather cooperating is one really amazing thing. But I do, I do want to thank all of the volunteers. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's a core group of uh, board of directors that's headed up by Janice Hallisey, of course. Um. Tommy Cones is on it. Um. Uh, Greg Rapon, uh, Mark Edelman and his wife. Um. Sean. Um. Er, Green. My brain just yeah, was. Yeah. And um. <laughs> and me. I'm on the board of directors. Um. You but, should be calling all the shots. You've been involved 18 out of the 22 years. Has yeah, there but, been some like highlight moments for you, like a favorite float? You know, even your grandson and all that stuff. Okay, you know, I have to say, my um, this whole thing started out because Janice Halsey's daughter Ashley, that that um, that we said they you know started the parade for. She was on the drill team at Creek with my daughter Brittany, and they ended up being officers on the drill team together. And um, when I moved here, Janice found out that I had um, done television when I was in Los Angeles. And so she had asked me to emcee the parade way back then and um, 2001. So um, I, I love watching Clear Creek Cavaliers because it's kind of what started all of that. It's kind of a beautiful memory for me every year. But I have to say City Mark Church does it up yeah. right. That's what I've heard. It. They win they, like every year the best, the best so float. A yeah. few years ago... We had um, a salute to the military, World War II, coming home for the holidays kind of theme. So lots of, um, you know, 40 style stuff. And they did a battleship. And all of the people on the battleship were like black and white characters. They were done up, with, like you would, they like were done up in gray as if it was a black and white photo. It was or and, movie from oh, the World cool. War II it era. It was the yeah. coolest thing. So not only the battleship was amazing, 
but all of the people on it. So when it came by, it looked like you were watching an old movie. It was really cool. It was. And then that day, we had had a contest for that that iconic scene where the um, nurse and the um, sailor uh, coming sailor, home from World War II. Oh, yeah. Kiss, you know? Mm-hmm. So we had this this contest for the best, like, sailor and uh, nurse kiss. And they got them, the winners, to come and then, like, twirl and do the kiss in front of the judges. So then it was just this photograph of yeah. the sailor and the kiss and the, the ship. That That's my favorite uh, of all of the ones. Um, they always do it upright. They're, they're great. Um, the City of League City. Um, they do a really cool float every year. They they usually do a couple, and they're they're very um, yeah. In fact, uh, cool. I was talking to John Bumgarner, the city manager for League City, the other day, because mm-hmm. as we talked about, City Mark, you know, always like tops out. I mean, they did you know they, they always go over the top with this thing, and that's who League City tries to take out over this thing and they said so this year i think <laughs> for what john was saying and by the way if anyone from city mark is listening to look out because the cops are going to surround your float <laughs> at, around, <laughs> at around 5 15 tomorrow night it sounds like a, a city uh, i don't think they want them in the parade but it but the <laughs> but in fact i know all i know about the city we're league trying to cities, get rid of the church that's yeah, so bad <laughs> no, no, I, all i know about the city league cities float this year are they're just they're they're displayed it's more than a float it's acting everything else there's a dance routine yeah, because every staff member has been talking about this dance rehearsal they had the other night, and they're all dancing in this thing. So you could you'll see you know someone from public work, someone from marketing, someone from your utility. You know, <laughs> yeah. they're all going to be doing a dance routine. That's all I know. They won't. It's a closed set. They don't let us out there or anything I know. like that I'm so excited to as see they're preparing for it. So this is like a clouded in mystery thing. Well, you know, I did. Um, um, Sarah has an afternoon. Yeah. Show. So, right. And I did that kind of when we just were kicking off, making everybody know. So but so back in November, you know, remember the parade's coming up and we did a little thing. And that whole set was filled with stuff for their float. And she was like, Don't say anything. You know? And I so was you're like, not allowed to say. Do you remember some of the stuff that was there? Are I you, saw I saw a few things. To see but, sign secrecy. Yeah. yeah I was it. like, Oh, I can't she has tell an about that. Yeah. I want to know <laughs> who created the dance routine. Like did they hire I a professional? Know. Right. I mean, I don't know. now I I suspect that somewhere through the parks department because they do have like dance programs that have dance okay. and stuff like that. Yeah, but you uh, never know who has like somebody. a background in. Right, you know, they could be your your you know public yeah. works person, like he said, and they might have been a choreographer when they were young or something. You know, there that people have have stuff in their background that, you that never might know. help them. Yeah, so we're, we might have a ringer. I don't. And know. And even as I say, as us as the MCs for this event, we don't know what it's going to mm-hmm. be until we see it tomorrow night and so that's a lot of fun um you know angie was talking about you know remembering things i you know some years ago i was actually in the parade with a group oh it was so cold and i really (laughs) wasn't prepared that night and so i went out and uh the organization i was working for at the time we were in the parade and we had bought all these sat these those paper santa masks Mm -hmm. you know you can put on on your face that had our logo on it and everything and we handed them out <laughs> we're handing those out and kids are putting them on and I just realized we created the Santa themed children of the corn moment. Oh I mean it was really it was very creepy so many Santas at. everywhere yeah, like, <laughs> and, but it was, because the <laughs> eyes were cut out it was like this dead eye thing going around and I just remembered super cold I wasn't ready for that I actually bought a pair of gloves at a local convenience store at the last minute kept walking over to our van which had the heater on and putting my hands inside just so I would thaw out but it was just it, but still you make that moment. whole walk and, and you interact with folks that's the part i like is just oh, interacting yeah. with folks and seeing kids getting candy mm-hmm. and and everything else it is they just everyone has such a blast and then they go to the park afterwards because as soon as the parade's over tomorrow night that's not it there's plenty still folks can go over there's groups singing santa's over there the vendors are there the food trucks are all there and and folks just hang out and have a good time and that's mm-hmm. that's that's as I said, you know, I can't, I can't say it enough. It's Americana at its best. I like that Mrs. Claus is involved. You know, Santa. Yeah. I saw him last night at an event. There was no he's, Mrs. He's, there. He's busy, man. He's very busy. Yeah. yeah. But the, you know, Mrs. Claus, she likes to to get out too, and I yeah. I want to take a picture of Mrs. Claus and have yeah. her some cookies or I don't know. I, I saw her at the city council the other night. She she's she was beautiful. at city she's council beautiful. the other night. Yeah. yeah, Frosty hanging out with her there too. Uh, also, too, before the parade starts, and this is this is again hearkening back to the traditions of what we call classic Christmas. 
is right before the parade starts, the original St. Mary's Church, which sits right on Main Street, they ring the bells. There's a choral performance, and they ring the bells. And that's when you know things have started. They ring those bells, and officially down the end of the road, the parade is started. Mm -hmm. And that's another special part of this is that right there. So well, I will tell you that this year, it is December 7th. And since we just had the kind of 1941 salute the military theme a couple years ago, we we didn't choose that as a theme, even though the parade's going to be on December 7th. So um, at 545, before the parade starts at 6, our own Kelly Williams is going to sing the national anthem. um, And um, we're going to honor some veterans. And so that's going to be kind of a neat moment right there by the judge's tent, which sits on Park and Main. so that'll be a beautiful little time there. Um, so if you're a veteran, come on out. We'll honor you, too. Be there at 530. And I, <laughs> oh, wait. And we forgot about our celebrity grand marshals. Oh, yeah. Well, we didn't talk about any grand marshals. Yeah. So we have we have our celebrity grand marshals. If anyone watches on TLC, Out Daughtered. Yes. You know, the Busby family. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they are going to be our celebrity grand marshals. That's awesome. For the parade. Yep. And what a lot of people don't realize is that, that, you know, they see the show on TLC and everything else. They're League City residents. Mm-hmm. Yep. They they are right here. They're right in town, and it's going to be a part of. Uh, they're going to be our celebrity grand marshals for the parade uh, this year. But this is how big the parade is because we have celebrity grand marshals. Then we have our grand marshal uh, as uh, as well too. So that's a. There's a lot of local stuff League that City. On, longtime yeah. League City residents are always chosen as the grand marshals, yeah. and it's neat to kind of find out their history. Um, TJ and I'll like interview them right before the parade, right. see who all they're, they always bring their whole extended family. And so that grand marshal thing is a way that we can honor a league city resident. Um, that's been here a long time. So, so that's kind of cool. The street shuts down tomorrow at five o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then at five 30, the bells ring and no, we're going, no. the bells don't ring until, about um, six, oh, when the parade o'clock. actually starts at five 30 is yeah. like the festivities are starting. Five thirty, yeah. we start having like a little bit of entertainment down by the judges. There's usually like an orchestra and, or some little kids dancing or, you know, something like that. Right. Then at five 45, Kelly will sing and we'll honor the veterans. And then, We'll we'll talk to the audience for a little while. We like to to ha- sing a couple Christmas carols, do something to yeah. kind of get the the crowd excited about Christmas, and then we hear the bells of St. Mary's. Well, now for TJ and I, it's still another twenty minutes before the parade gets to us. So, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of filler. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of talking. Yeah, have y'all? I, I mean, I know y'all are y'all are comfortable talking, and y'all are great on camera, and are, are familiar and, and comfortable doing these things. But that's a that's lot, lot of talking. There's a lot. Yep. <laughs> That's why I just like well, drink stuff all day to, long. We get to inter, we get to interview the judges that'll be there, um, which are also community involved people, and so it's always a lot of neat yes. people to talk to. Um, and we'll talk about the parade, like Janice and Pat. Although they're mm-hmm. they'll be you never see Janice Hallisey at the parade because she runs the parade when the floats come out and all of that. So she runs around like a hurricane for. She goes off in her little cart go back and forth. Uh, and speaking of Pat Halsey, Janice already let this out of the bag, so we can do it. Yeah, so. I was like, this is a secret. What's TJ keep telling people? <laughs> no, she's the one that let it out of the bag publicly in an interview. So uh, Pat's birthday is coming up uh, on the December 16th, 16th. December 16th. So we are going to honor him singing happy birthday. The mayor is going to, he comes by in his green Jeep and, uh, and uh, and then he'll stop in front and, and essentially leads the parade and, and declares it underway. And the, but we're gonna go ahead and sing happy birthday to him when he gets over there. Are you gonna be well. doing that? Let uh, me hear. I'll it. lead it. Let me hear you. Let me hear you happy birthday to you. Oh hey, that's pretty good. That's I don't know. Good. It's kind of like Marilyn Monroe. I didn't Monroe know if we were gonna show, like sure. try and. Are you gonna Marilyn Monroe? Just, yeah, the mayor, no, Mr. We'll mayor. I need yeah. to tag. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see if I can tag Mayor Halsey so we can get a little uh, a preview of yeah. that. Well, so preview. it'd be a, you know, a <laughs> little you advance of his 70th birthday. If you don't see that. So you know, my daughter that we said it started this whole thing off with Janice. It's also her birthday, and ah. their daughter Ashley's birthday is the next day. So we always have like a joint mayor pat janet yeah. and ashley and Brittany birthday party so she my daughter lives in jacksonville florida so she flew in last night awesome so she'll be here um but you know i thought of two other things that i have to say that happened at the parade that um during that same 1941 parade that we had we had the local vfw 
had a parade, and they just had a bunch of chairs with all of these World War II vets, about eight of them. And what an honor, because we just don't have a whole lot of World War II vets left, you know. And so we're, we're all kind of in tears anyway, because these yeah. guys are, you know, these guys are just great American heroes coming down the parade route. And then one of them stands up and in the most beautiful, clear, baritone voice sings, Proud to be an American. And there was Impromptu. not a dry yeah. eye in the house. It, w- I mean, I couldn't even talk. <laughs> and, and then he asked me out on a date. <laughs> His daughter comes over and he goes, hey, my dad wants to talk to you. <laughs> and I was like, so I went from being two years old to being, you know, good for an 85-year-old yeah, man. Right. But, there you go. But I, I, it, that, that was my favorite emotional um, memory. And then my other most favorite memory Wait, wait, wait. Was, did you say yes? I did, but then he didn't ever take me out. Okay, all right. I'm I sorry. did. Just had to I was going to go, but we didn't go. <laughs> but um, so my other one was two years ago um, after Mayor Pat um, had his surgery and had, had his heart attack and all of that. The, the whole city had been just on their knees in prayer for months um, since October 10th when it happened. And the parade is always the first week in December. Well, um, lo and behold, comes Mayor Pat down the um, down the parade route, got out of the hospital that day, rode in the parade route, and we thought, you know, they're going to whisk him straight home. No. He... he got out, got in his wheelchair, and, and came over and sat with the judges and hung out for about an hour or more, you know? Wow. And so I went over there to talk to him, you know, and he just welcomed the city and the people's emotions around that area were also just tears and excitement because most people probably didn't know he was going to be out of the hospital or, I mean, it was that day, you know? So that was another very beautiful memory because um, if you know Pat and Janice Hallisey at all, you know how they love, um, TJ keeps using the word Americana. Um, The iconic thing in League City is our oak trees that hang over Main Street. They hang over the League Park where we have the festival. And Janice will always say, that like people have said, why don't you move it to Highway Three? You won't have height constrictions or whatever. And she's like, because I love watching the parade come down Main Street under those oak trees, and you know, it is a feeling and an emotion, not just a parade. You know, it makes you go back to simpler times when when it was just a fun parade with um, the Boy Scouts and the little football teams and the drill team, you know, the drill team yeah. and um, bands, of course, you know, and um, it just it it brings you back to to just when you were a kid. Yeah. And we it is really cool to see people who were in the parade now bringing their kids back or watching their kids in the parade. You know, we sometimes get complaints because the parade is so long and we're like. Yeah, but remember when you wanted your little drill team to perform or you wanted your little football team to be in the parade and everybody wants their yeah. kid to be in the parade? And, you know, we don't say no. Yeah. We, we don't say no to anybody. You know, Leak City but, has grown a lot. Yes. I'm getting, you know, 22 years ago, even even in this time, and, you know, it, it keeps keeps growing and there's there's still room for more growth. But that parade is a throwback to the, the, the much, well, I'll call it a simpler time. Right. And it has that charm, the small town charm in a, an amazing city. And that's one of the things that's great about League City is that it keeps that together. That's why having the local grand marshals matters here. A lot of times, folks you know, they want to get the Busbys are great; they're locals themselves, but it's a high, more of a high profile. But having someone like Doug and Charlene McKee, who are the local grand marshals, you know, Doug, you know, has a local business, a pest control business in town, but it's more than his business; it is what they do in the community part of League City Proud, part of everything they do in the city and volunteering on efforts and donating to the little league teams and everything else. And so that always just kind of brings it back to the heart and soul. That's why it's important where Holiday in the Park is held, in the heart of the city, where the city began, right there. And that that's the that's the part that's important about this. And it's something that's not been lost in there mm-hmm. in the last 22 years particularly but it was something that came because it wasn't there, wasn't celebrated the way it was uh, in those simpler times. You know, because there, I remember someone coming up to me one time and saying, "Say, I've been coming to this parade for sixty years." I said, <laughs> I said "Oh, 
oh, how'd you do that? And, he's, <laughs> and, and uh, but it feels like it's been around yeah. for that long. Forever. Wait, you know, so. we, I, we had a 50th anniversary party for League City just a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, we've just been around for 50 years? League City, you know, it didn't incorporate for a long time. It was ranches, you know, it didn't incorporate for a long time. So I always thought that, that right. when if you've ever been to League City Council meeting and and Mayor Pat reads some kind of a, you know, a citation for someone that's done something, you know, and he'll go, on this 30th day of December, I, the 10th mayor of League City, Pat like Pelosi. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. 10, 10? We only been ten. <laughs> yeah, it cracks I mean, me up it every does. Time. It, it, it's something to think about because Lee City has this deep history going back to the Butlers, and you know we hear the Butler Longhorn Museum and, and and the leagues and and the leagues because people and, always and think else. it's like a baseball league or something. Yeah, yeah, but right. It is yeah, JC league, league, league that the city is named yeah, after. Family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was all ranch land. I mean, when I was in Texas City growing up, we always looked at League City as you know Cowtown. And it was funny is that now no one thinks of it that way. Not anymore. But right well, in that, if you go down the heart, it still has that feel. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, so I grew fun. up in Clear Lake. So just, you know, we were big rivals, Clear Creek. And, and it was a small town. I mean, there was like four neighborhoods, maybe, you know, yeah. the, the, there were actual, you know, communities or whatever. Now there's like, what, 50? But yeah. I know um, Pat ran for mayor in like 2005. And, um, at, at his kickoff meeting, he said they're just changing the population signs from like forty two thousand to seventy four thousand. Just you know that year. So whenever between the time they made signs, it had grown that, that thirty thousand people, and that was two thousand and five. Now we have a hundred and ten. So yeah, and the it, census is going to be done next year, right? Yeah. And we'll see what we're at now. We're taking bets over and under 125, 130,000. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. And those people are busy having and babies. And they're all on <laughs> Interstate 45 between 518 and Highway 96 right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And 646. And right 646, now. right. Like, yeah. did you ever, like, you know, where 96 is and 646 is, I never really thought about what was in between. I just kind of assumed those houses in Brittany Lakes ran yeah. into Bay Colony. You know, I never really thought about how it was shaped. But there's three ranches in between these there are, huge yeah. cattle ranches in between those those two that are still there. Yeah. still there. Well, two of them have sold to developers, which is kind of one of the big controversies. How many people are going to be moving in over there? Yeah. But there's one still big ranch back there, and the one that just sold. I mean, literally just moved Longhorn cattle off of it, like <laughs> you know, last year. <laughs> you know, I mean, you could still come up to your house. But what my best friend actually lives off of 96. Um, what is that neighborhood back there? Magnolia Creek. Yeah. And her backyard has kind of one of those old fashioned, just like two lined fence, not like a big six foot fence. You know, it just has the one that you can see through. And cattle come up all the time and just sit there. That's I go over there to feel like I'm in the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you don't amazing. have to go far to do it. But nope. again, it, as much as we've seen the League City growth, having this event's important. No matter what community you're in, whether it's League City, obviously that's what we're here to promote uh, this weekend with Holiday in the Park, uh, whether it's Lamarck, you know, the other night with their parade and, uh, and and you know, the Lions Club handing out popcorn and hot cocoa outside the library like they've done every year. Texas City last night with their uh, the old-fashioned Christmas parade. That was the 108th edition of their Christmas of Texas City of Texas City. Wow, we're such a baby. Yeah, Texas City has been around since 1911. You know, do you know so. you know Darcy with uh, yeah. the city of Texas City? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had texted me out when I was out of town. She was like, "Hey, can you help?" And I was like, "We had something. We had an event that I had yeah. to be at." I was like, "I wanted oh. to so bad do whatever I could." I was like, "Let me know if there's ever anything else I can do." It's like, man, I wish. Well, I could apparently do that. they'll continue to have that for a while. Yeah, no, the break was fun last night too, in the Texas City too. It was it was fun, but well, it, we did our tree lighting last night. That's right, and then we were the, and my, I had a crew there last night too for that. Yeah, uh, he's on my Facebook League Live. City. <laughs> yeah, League City's um, uh, Christmas tree, and it is a Christmas tree. We should stress that outside the library, the tree is actually there all year long. Mm-hmm. Gets decorated for Christmas. They had the lighting last night that kind of kicks things off. And it's a reminder. Hey, we had the lighting there. It's simple white lights with the nice, colorful star on the top right outside of Helen Hall Library there. Uh, great event last night with that great crowd out last Kids, night. Kids, the choir at Ferguson yeah. Elementary performed. Cool. And they were so cute. It's lo- I, that's my favorite thing. I love when the kids are involved with, with 
with all of the Christmas yeah. stuff. They they I mean, because obviously it's the joy of the children that makes Christmas special anyway. And I hope that we always keep it alive, you know, but but obviously it's the joy of Christmas. At my house, if you don't believe in Santa, you don't get presents. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. I mean, and sense. my children are 32, 29, and 26. And so they better not say anything about not believing at my house. So my kids saw a Santa Claus, the Santa Claus last night, right? And I asked, I was like, well, tell them what you want for Christmas. And I felt so good. My son's seven, my daughter's two. My son asked for a candy cane. My daughter asked for a grape. And I was like... Is this really what you want? I was like, I'm not that good of a parent. I feel like I, I, I did something right. Like I was proud they weren't asking for the new game system. Because they know TV. really yeah. Santa's not the one they need to talk to. <laughs> well, you they're, know, the they're other talking day, to mom. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was asking Jude um, what he wanted for Christmas. And he did say, you know, um, he'd looked on the computer. He's like, let's look on the computer. And he's like, oh, I like that smartwatch. Because he yeah. showed like all these kids taking pictures with their little watch, you know. And he goes, but can I give one present to someone else? You know, and I was like, I... I love yeah. that to make sure that that all children want to give back. You know, that's how we start because all of these events like we talked this is a this is an event that that volunteers put on. The League City Proud is not a part of the city. So, yeah. it's it's a core group of about 8 people that, you know, do it and then we get bigger volunteers for the actual weekend. But if you don't start a kid knowing that you give back from the very beginning, then what grownups are going to take the next generation? Exactly. And then, you know, y'all you know, you volunteering y'all's time to go out there and, and MC the event and see, hey, this is important to keep this oh, alive. Oh, no, they pay, they, they pay us a million dollars. One hundred million dollars. One hundred million dollars. <laughs> Do we don't share that evenly, though. <laughs> I get eighty million. He gets I, I think 20. she gets the whole hundred million. I haven't heard about that part. But no, it, it is you know talking about volunteerism and and the like because you see so many faces out there, folks just wanting to spread the joy of the season. No one forgets what the root season's about, and but the spirit that comes with that is so evident, uh, and it is so much fun and. As I said, it's a full weekend of activities. It's not just one event, but there's an event. If you wanted to just go, I just want to go to one thing, then folks will go to that one thing and have a good time. Um, it is uh, something else. And then when everyone gets to unwind uh, afterwards and you really appreciate volunteers. And while he is a volunteer organization puts it on, we should point out the city does do a lot. I mean, the police department puts its full force out there to help out the fire department, you know, does a lot as well. Yeah, the fire department, they and just the, like to be in it. The traffic department, <laughs> the traffic department's getting the barricades up, you know, all of that, you know, doing yeah. the parade. In the track. They do do a lot and um and you um you and uh, and and uh, Kurt will be a part of it with us this year too. So we're going to be live streaming um the parade. Yeah, on, is it safe uh, to say this will be the most eyes that I've ever seen the League City uh parade? Probably when we add live the fact that we live stream. Last year we we did the live stream and had around around 100,000 Wow. Uh, viewers last year plus what was there locally because which is about 30,000 30,000 show up easily show up the night of the parade yeah it's packed it, I was gonna say you know we, we, we keep talking about they're gonna close down the the road um, 518 Main Street from Highway 3 to 270 um, so people need they're still can get there they they just have to take the back roads they right. also have to park back there you know there's no parking on 518. So once they close the roads down, you can still get to the parade. You just have to take the back roads walker and go on park or, you know, um, that new League City Elementary that has opened yeah. has a lot of parking and they can park, you know, on the streets around the, the neighborhood. But it always yeah. scares people when we say they're closing close. the roads down. Yeah. yeah. You can still get to the parade. There's lots of back roads. You just can't get on high. Yeah, a lot of folks will park at the Kroger at 270 or mm -hmm. one of the shopping areas. There are five corners or 12 corners, whatever we call it nowadays, uh, and walk on down. Or they'll park over uh, at the uh, shopping center that's off of Main and Highway 3 and then walk on over uh, and all those back streets off Walker and Texas. And or if like you too. know somebody that has a business on 518, there are so many Christmas parties. I never that's, really realized yeah. what goes on along. Like somebody, said, uh, one of my best friends was saying that her um, her sister was going to her um, traditional holiday parade party that they have every year. Yeah. You know, Nomex so. Engineering has a big party there every year. Um, El Cubano Cigars there, they have a, a, a Christmas yeah. party there where their customers come and hang out from there. There are that, and that's something you don't see at many parades. 
but there are a lot of private parties along the line mm -hmm. that are businesses. They've invited their customers, they invited their family and friends to come on over and they rope off the area and they have a private party viewing party from there. You don't see that it really at other places because they're on a street that doesn't have a lot of that, you know, set up for it. Yeah. So that's another part of this. That's, that's really neat and makes it a grand. That's why it's called the, the grand, grand night, night parade. parade. I got to do it that way from yeah. now on. Where's, that's, that's where's the best place to watch it? Where can I see you guys? Well, that if you want to see the performances and um, and see us, um, it we're again on the in front of the judges' tent on Park and Main, in front of the Masonic Lodge, and we really are grateful to them too. Yeah. They let us set up the tent there every year and um, let us run in and out. And that's what. Yeah, we have a comment here. It's from Stevie. He said, "Shout out to the to the lodge right there for for being involved and, and allowing that." Yeah, that's pretty they, cool. We're, we really um, thank them every year because we I mean that's a lot. Real they, restrooms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, no porta potties. We, no. <laughs> we do. Yeah, not not the rest of the public, but and yeah. sometimes there's like a costume change or oh, whatever, yeah. you know, and we'll run in there. And so, is there anything um, like that we can expect? Can we get a, a tease? Is there going to be any costume changes from you guys? Never know. I don't know. I don't know. We're kind of talking about know. what we're going to do. Okay. This I is mean, my there first might year, be so super frosty cut. or something. Yeah. Super frosty. No. I like <laughs> it. I'm going to keep it kind of simple, you know, for this year. So, uh, But there's there's going to be plenty of surprises in the actual parade itself. Yeah. We know of those. We can, we're not going to tell. We're not going to even hint at them. You know, TJ is really a hard time keeping secrets. He yeah. wants <laughs> he wants to tell so wants bad. wants to tell everybody everything. wants to tell. And, and, and that's his job, you know, give out the news. The news. But, you know, mm -hmm. but he he wants to tell you everything. But come out to the parade and see it. Find you out know? yourself. Yeah. I just want to run down just just so that we remember. You know, the vendors that are out there. They're they're out there from five o'clock today till nine o'clock every night. That starts again at nine o'clock in the morning. So you can go see the vendors all weekend um, until the everything ends on five o'clock at five o'clock on Sunday, and then. Um, Tonight's the at six thirty is the reading of Miss from Mrs. Claus. Seven o'clock is Frosty. One thirty minutes after, I don't know. Well, Frosty's not a very long movie, right? So no, just a few minutes true. later. That's the thing. A lot of times people don't realize too. those movies. Those movies are the classics. They're technically like twenty minutes long shorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah they really they are. are. They are. They are. I mean, but it's, um, uh, and then, but else. then, how long is Frosty Returns? It's a regular movie. You just longer. watched it. I need to know, I know. exactly. Well, it was one hour and 47 minutes. No, I'm one know. of those. I'm not a big sequel fan. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the classic. But. Yeah, they had to get their money's worth out of John Goodman's performance in Frosty 2. Yeah, I think it's like that a way. full That's hour. <laughs> I got the full, the full hour. I'm, wait, I'm waiting right. for the Star Wars themed Frosty to come along. Then I'll be okay. so. <laughs> You're like the second person that's talked about Star Wars theme this today about the parade. That's so yeah. funny. I, we're gonna have to have a Star Wars theme at some point. That would be cool. We have to do that. I'm down for that. Star Wars. <laughs> is there Darth ever a Christmas on. scene in any of the Star Wars movies? Not that I. So, I have an inflatable Darth Vader Christmas. But story. but does that but does <laughs> that, that show counts. does that show that Christmas not gonna be celebrated? Red lightsabers. The not there. I don't think they celebrate it there. Mm. They got red and green lightsabers, and that may be the closest. That might that's be it. when the bing yeah, the fight. Ding, but, yeah, right. Christmas no. time is here. It it but it's again it, this event. Is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Well, I, it on, really is the highlight of the year. On the breaking down of the events tomorrow, if your kid wants to be in the parade, they're perfectly welcome. There's no fee for the kids' parade. Uh, there's no sign up. We don't keep any record of you know the drivers and all that kind of stuff. So it, it is a very small parade. They ride their bikes, they pull their wagons, or they just walk from That's Butler's all. Butler's yeah. Courtyard to League Park. And then they all go to Santa, and Santa gives everybody a present. They can take as many pictures as they want for free with the Santa and the beautiful tree there. Um, so if the kid wants to be in it, they need to come at 930, start getting lined up and kind of get directions. It starts at 10. It's over at 10.03. And uh, no, it's a very short, <laughs> it's a very short break. No. It's shorter than Frosty. Yes. We'll say shorter. that. Yeah. But uh, maybe 12 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> But um, but it's a it, it's so fun to see the kids and they and they wear like um, either holiday costumes or you know just their Christmas dresses or Christmas sweatshirts or whatever. Some of them have very elaborate little wagons and some of them just walk. So so the kid parade line up at nine thirty if they want to come ten o'clock to watch it um, and then all day there is performances in the in League Park. So 
um, yeah, there's choirs a, and dancers. Choirs, and, and there's an Irish dance group coming in, a folklorio group, I think, is coming and an in. Orchestra. As well. Cool. Yeah, you the know. city's so, own orchestra is Yeah, so be like performing. if you came to the parade in the, in, in the morning and you could hang out all day till the parade at night, I mean, there's stuff to do all day long. Um, and then at night, the Grand Night Parade, of course, it starts at six o'clock. But you want to be there for the festivities yeah. about 5 five thirty. And support. This is free. The only thing you pay for is if you buy something at a vendor mm-hmm. or one of the food, food. trucks. Yeah. That's it. Get Everything all your shopping free. done. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. I mean, all the parades, all the entertainment, all that. Free, 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 free. All the way and, through. You know, there's people who, who want to shop local, support local businesses. And a lot of people, that's how they buy all their Christmas presents. So this is a great place. There's a hundred of them right in the same place. Get yeah. everything done. Yeah. Not only that, the vendor's there, but there also there's local shops across the way. Uh, right there at Park in Maine that you can shop at or up and down the block there too. There's a couple of uh, small restaurants like like Main Street Bistro and others that are right there. You know, folks can feel free to, you know, shop there. It is a way to help shop local. It is a way to just enjoy a local time and have a good time as well. Can people still sign up for the the parade tomorrow? You mentioned the kids parade. They can come tonight. Um, They could tonight maybe. They but could tomorrow is tomorrow it's it's off. set. Um they I mean I'm sure we always have somebody that you know <laughs> that runs it, but a rogue um, entry. You know, we, we have to have um like a copy of their driver's license and their um their insurance oh, sure. card yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's rules like every par- every parade float has to have, you know, a fire extinguisher and you know, so mm-hmm. there's stuff that they're checking all along the way. So we we wouldn't encourage that, but um you know, if they were like, oh, my goodness, I made this float and I forgot to, you know, sign up, then, you know. A reminder, <laughs> a reminder though, too. Uh, Janice said this the other night in our mandatory. If you're listening and you're coming to the parade tonight or you're coming to drop someone tomorrow, off. The parade tomorrow, tomorrow night. I mean, if you're coming tomorrow, sorry. And if you're coming out tomorrow for the parade and you're particularly if you're there to just drop off your kids or whatever like that. Do not. Do not stop in the middle of FM 518 and drop off whoever you're letting off. Mm hmm pull into the parking lot yeah and and they're supposed to enter from the back yeah don't come in off the main street side anyway right come in off of the back side um that's just it does get a little risky there because until they close the road off you know that's there's still vehicles going up and down (laughs) the road and they're not necessary and they're trying to rush because they don't want to you know be there when the parade starts up i I would like to add to we've we've talked about this being an entirely volunteer-led event right so when when people are coming into the parade and they tell them you need to get off of the street or don't let your kids run in and get the candy off the street or or they're per- turning into the parking lots and they were like, oh, you need to go around the na- around the block or, you know, don't yell at the volunteers. They're, yeah. they're volunteers. They're out there helping. And there's a reason for everything that they do. You know, they don't want to just be mean and not let people line up in the street. They, it's dangerous. You know, it's dangerous. I mean, we have horses, we have floats and motorcycles and, you know, it's a parade with, you know, and, and at one time one of the horses fell in the, in the parade, you know, and if a kid had been like close, that would have been very be dangerous, you know? So, so we, we love all the people of League City and we want them to have fun and be a part of it. But if a volunteer's telling them to do something or dropping off your kid in a certain way or whatever, it's because there's a reason and they're just volunteers. Be nice to them. <laughs> yeah. And I also should point out, too, that this is the prayer that discourages throwing items from the float. They have walkers they actually hand it out or hand it directly instead of throwing from the float for safety reasons. It's, oh, yeah. yeah. Then the it's clean, one of the clean few, up alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About that, but right? it's one of the few it's one of the few parades that says, no, we do it this way. Hand it out. To be safe. And yeah. Yeah. it'll be a lot of fun. And if, you, if folks want to uh, find out more, if they go to LeagueCityProud.com, even though it's a nonprofit, it's a .com on that, uh, you can find the schedule of events. You can even donate there to help because – there is a cost associated with it. Well, they There's need no, to pay our, right. our, how many, twenty a hundred million dollars. Last we counted, it was 100 million. 100 yeah. million. That, so they, you know, they need help paying yeah, that. Yeah. Seriously, if you can 100 that, million hugs is about only, what we get. That's we do, a joke. That's a joke. We do get, we do get like a hundred million hugs throughout the, that, the and parade. That's, 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 what, that's, we, what, that's we, what we, that's what we get paid. But that's where folks just donate to that because yes, the only fee that's charges the vendors who want the space that's it you the parade know. the parade floats basically. yeah the parade floats that pay for that but that's really that's a that doesn't cover the costs that are associated with 
extra security and the lights and everything else they get put up. Right. So if you want to donate, LeagueCityProud.com, you can help out there. Is there anything else I'd like to share? Merry Christmas, that's for sure. Merry that's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, and thanks for giving us the time, Gardner. Of course. We appreciate you. Of course. Yeah, we can't wait that y'all are going to come out. Yeah, it's KGA so fun. is going to be we, uh, helping we want, us out with this. We tomorrow. want y'all to experience our League City Proud. I am know? excited. It'll be my first time to attend. I, I do have to say, just just that, you know, everything is Texas Proud, all that stuff. League City Proud has been the name of our organization for 22 years. Since before that. I think Janice Hallisey, I think she started the trend. Yeah. You know? Because because League City Proud has been the name of the organization forever. Yeah. And now we're so cool. Everybody's copying us. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, tonight yeah. the festivities start and then tomorrow the parade, the uh, 518 is going to be closed at 5. Yes. And we're going to have some fun. Sounds have great. Have some fun. Everybody fun. come out. There. Sit under the oaks. And enjoy Old League City. Yes. Hey, thank you for hanging out. And uh, thank you for taking the time to, to listen to KHEA Radio. Right now it's 11.05. Be blessed. Everything. Bye, Facebook.